In the Russian Federation, panic is growing, caused by the fact that prisoners who were amnestied for participation in the so-called special operation in Ukraine are returning from the front, against the backdrop of this event, the number of rapes has sharply increased, writes the TG channel, Mazamo Baikam, with reference to data from the Judicial Department at the Supreme Court of the Russian Federation. It is also emphasized that, looking at the published statistics and charts of crime growth, the increase in the number of those convicted under the article on violent sexual acts committed under aggravating circumstances is especially noticeable. The indicator of such violations of the criminal code of the Russian Federation has grown by 51%. In addition, special attention is paid to the fact that an even greater increase was recorded under the most serious part of this article, under which repeat rapists and violent acts against children are tried, the increase in this type of crime increased by 77.4%, that is, from 71 to 126 convicted persons. It is worth noting that the increase in the number of rapes, as well as other particularly serious crimes in the Russian Federation, is, of course, directly affected by the return from the front of former prisoners who received a pardon personally from the Russian dictator Putin for agreeing to participate in the war against the Ukrainian people. The consequences of this frankly cynical and unreasonable policy of the Kremlin leader, as we see from the published graphs, are reflected not only in Ukraine, but also in Russia itself. The deployment of conscripts is a thorny issue in Russia. That's partly because of Russian President Vladimir Putin's repeated promises that they would not be sent to fight, but also due to fact that the mothers and wives of soldiers have traditionally been an influential voice inside the country where dissent is now almost non-existent, and many are expressing their anger. The treatment of conscripts has been a political third rail in the past for Russia. During the Soviet war in Afghanistan in the 1980s and Russia's war in the breakaway Republic of Chechnya, the mothers of conscripts mobilized to campaign against the abuse of conscripts. While Russian civil society has largely been defanged under Putin, the treatment of conscripts is still a sensitive issue for families. Avoiding the draft is easier for the sons of the wealthier and politically privileged. The sun was starting to dip low on the horizon off the coast of Nantucket on Saturday when fishing buddies Nicholas Whitbeck and Joe Torme spotted what they thought was a dead whale on the horizon. Squinting closer, they noticed what appeared to be a man perched on top of the whale waving his hat. The whale turned out to be capsized fishing boat that the man who had lost his cell phone when his boat tipped over had been using to stay above the water as he tried to attract attention from passing vessels. If nobody responded, the man faced a long, chilly and lonely night on the water which was about 55 to 58 degrees, enough for hypothermia to set in quickly. Whitbeck said they just relocated to an area with fewer fishing vessels to try their luck there when they spotted the object in the distance. Joe initially pointed it out, thinking that there was possibly a dead whale on the horizon a couple miles from us or less. Upon further inspection and a little bit of drifting we kind of kept an eye on it. It ended up looking a lot more like a boat that had capsized, Whitbeck said. He mentioned almost immediately after recognizing that that there seemed to be a pair of hands waving, he added. We immediately kicked into action. The two stowed away their gear, pushed boat to full throttle and alerted the coast guard. We got close to him, spoke to him first got him a life jacket with a boat hook so that if in the exchange of him getting onto our boat there was a mishap or anything and he was in the water, he had a flotation device with him, he added. Maneuvering their boat into position to get him on board was difficult in part because there was an anchor about the waterline that could have punctured their boat. In talking to him we found out a lot more details about how serious and dire the situation was, Whitbeck said. The man said he'd been sitting on the hull of the capsized boat for about an hour, drifting away from land and other boats as the clock ticked near 4 p.m. At this time of the year we were losing daylight fast. Us arriving at that time really was a right time, right place scenario for that type of rescue, he said. The man told them that a larger wave had tipped over his boat. He said he'd attempted to flag down three other boats but no one saw him. Whitbeck said it was just luck that they'd spotted him. 
He said the man was a bit reserved at first given what had happened but was very very grateful when they connected later. Torme, who had Coast Guard training, said those on the water are quick to help each other out if they find themselves in trouble. Any fisherman would do the same as we did. We're out there. There's not many people. We rely on each other a lot especially on Nantucket where we're an island and it's very limited, he said. Uh, we stopped, take a peek at some area that was uh, holding some fish, took a few casts, and that's right where we uh, picked up on um, what seemed to be an object in the distance. Um, Joe initially pointed it out, thinking that there was possibly a dead whale on the horizon uh, a, a couple miles from us or less. And you know, upon further inspection and a little bit of drifting, you know, we kind of kept an eye on it. It ended up looking a lot more like a boat that had capsized. And he mentioned uh, almost immediately after, you know, recognizing that, that there seemed to be a pair of hands waving. And that triggered the response. You know, we immediately you know, kicked into action. Uh, we started to put away all the rods. He was behind the wheel, started to, you know, push the engine to full throttle and uh, got on the line with the Coast Guard and we were on our way there. Mm -hmm. 